Is there a connection between business and art? This is Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence and I'm joined here in the studio by Eddie Taylor. Eddie, it's Art Dubai this week, so tell us why this subject arose. Well, it's the, uh, the literal sense of the world of art and business colliding because you've got 105 art galleries from around the world coming to Art Dubai. Mm. Uh, and they're in the business of selling art. I mean, that's, that's why they're there. But mm. I think there's more than that. I mean, I think Art Dubai is probably one of the premium platforms for championing and celebrating art from the Middle East and uh, Africa in particular. Mm. And it's a place of discussion and networking and talking. And Myrna Ayad, who I spoke to this week, is very keen to see that art isn't something that should be ring-fenced and seen as one sort of component. It's everything that we uh, touch and do and experience and feel, and it's very much a fabric and a component of our lives. Okay. You also wrote a piece in the magazine about the, the ways that art can inspire new ways of thinking. Yeah, it's, it's sort of... Very brave of you, by the way. It's very... Uh, mm. It's kind of a de rigueur thing at the moment in management consultant circles. It's like, you know, giving people access, you know, in the business world, access to the kind of ways of thinking that, that artists and musicians and that kind of thing, mm. sort of, you know, their, their mental processes. So it's not about, you know, innovation is more about creativity than it is about, say, research or linear processes. Mm. There's one very interesting quote from uh, a guy called Mark Tebb, who's the co-founder of uh, Answers.com, and he said... Uh, Executives, as well as other business leaders, need to draw this innovation inspiration from a number of everyday creative sources, such as music, theatre and art. Those who appreciate cre creativity in these forms are often more inspired and open-minded to non-linear approaches to business problem thinking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a kind of an anecdotal story that Einstein himself kind of came up with the theory of relativity while, while listening to a symphony. Mm. So creativity is seen as a way that you can kind of get your brain to work in different ways. And in an era when we need to be thinking much more creatively, mm. that's kind of seen as a positive thing. OK, OK. So business in the region, how are they fostering this? Well, one of the most obvious ways is to engage in the practice of corporate art collecting. And one of the most famous probably in the region is Ili Khouri, who's the, the CEO of OMD Group, which is offices just across the road. And he's got a fantastic art collection now. Mm. And he's probably going to be at Art Dubai looking for his next piece to add to it. Mm. Um, and what he does is basically all on display. I mean, even at ITP here in this building, you know, our owners have, have gone down the route of collecting some very, very significant pieces of modern art. And they put them on display. And in a creative industry... That's seen as one of the ways to kind of promulgate a kind of an inspirational and kind mm. of creative atmosphere around the place. Mm. And I guess, I mean, without going off on a tangent, in this era of low interest rates that we've been across the world for the last 10 years, buying art is not a bad way just to sort of put some money it's a, it's a good investment. I mean, in fact, actually 76% of... Uh, uh, wealth managers around the world actually say that art is a good part of your investment mm. portfolio. So yeah. Okay. So let's talk about how companies can go further. We've got a barrage capital, for example. Yeah. yeah there's, there's 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 the collecting side, which is what OMD have done. There's the patronage side, which is mm. kind of taking that that sort of involvement in the art space a much bigger step further. So it isn't simply about buying art. Mm. It's about commissioning it. It's about fostering it. It's about creating programs and platforms. And perhaps the biggest platform in the Middle East right now is the Abraj Capital Art Prize. Right. And for someone like Abraj, you know, they've had sort of a sticky few weeks when it comes to being in the headlines. This is a way that they can really change the narrative about their, their company mm. and generate some positive headlines. And the Abraj Capital Art Prize now is probably the preeminent art prize in the region. Mm. And that's them fostering the artistic community in the region. And their artists, the ones that have won the prize, have gone on to exhibit in the Guggenheim and in the Tate Museum. So really, really significant part of uh, the art space now. And that comes from a private equity investment company. Okay, okay. And a lot of this links back to Art Dubai, which has done such a tremendous amount to foster this scene in terms of people seeing art, people buying art, people getting involved companies in, in, in being patrons of the art scene. Yeah, it's really, really fostering and also kind of championing art from this region as something that actually stands on a parallel mm. in any other art community and any other art scene in the world. I mean, thanks to the work of Art Dubai, there are acquisition committees at some of the really big major art institutions in the world that are looking specifically at, at art from the Manassa region. So Art Dubai really has played a massive, massive part in elevating art on a global scale. And it's only been going 12 years, so mm. it's a typical Dubai success story. Okay, great. All right, well, that's business and art. This has been uh, Inside AB. Please do join us every weekday at 10 a.m. Do comment, subscribe, all the rest of it on our social media channels. So thanks, Eddie Taylor, and see you next time. Bye.